streets choked with your host Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, all right here. Oh, simply stray, simply stray talk. Hey, are you okay? Because, you know, you're a little too quiet. I mean, for 15 minutes, you have not said a word. Now, that's a record for you. You know that, don't you? So, are you trying to be funny for once? Come on now, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I was just thinking about the relaxation and fun of being on a holiday. I know, right? And you know what? I really appreciate you inviting me. You know what? To be honest, I can't deny the fact that, you know, you really are a great friend and you've always been there for me. I mean, even in the midst of all my crazy relationship issues, you've been there for me. <laughs> yes. Crazy is definitely putting it nicely. Anyway, we here. <laughs> this is Game 106. You know, we can just sit right here if you want to. These seats are fine. Oh my god, no. Oh, please tell me he is not coming over here. Who? Who are you talking about? Him. Your friend, James. Oh, I hope he don't come over here. I really don't feel like hearing none of his crazy, dumb analogies on anything right now. Oh, no, no, look, look down, look down. Maybe he'll walk past us. Reggie, Reggie, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Not much, just working making that paper. Hey, yo, what's up, Angelique? Mmm, nothing. Good to see you, girl. Come on now, hug it out. Hey, yo, take one more step and I'm gonna punch you out. Anyway, what's up, bro? What's going on with you? Not much, man. You know, we just relaxing before the flight, you know. You know, but look, you know, we don't want to get you in no trouble on the job or nothing. So, you know, we don't want to hold you up. You know, we understand you working. So, you know, we don't want nobody tripping on you or nothing. Oh, nah, y'all good. I still don't understand why people spend their money traveling. I mean, you can get the same foods here and see all the different places on TV or in magazines. Oh, here we go. Well, James, that's great, man. But you know what? We like to travel. We like to actually experience, you know, the various cultures and stuff. Actually, you have a job because people travel. And I have some information for you that may shock you. Guess what? We know how to read. So just looking at pictures is not stimulating to intellectuals. Get it? And not to mention the ability to experience the atmosphere in a new place, you know, kind of like a life-changing experience. Oh my god. You know what else can be a life-changing experience? What's that? You, walking away and us not having to continue this conversation with you. Oh wow. Bro, what's up with your girl tripping on me? She acts like she don't like me. Mm, I don't. Any more questions or concerns you want to ask him that I can answer? Oh, it's like that? James, James, let me ask you something, bro. Let me ask you something. And I want to keep it 100 with you right now. Did you ever pay her for the event that she planned for you? Did you ever pay her back for that? Dirty. And also, you never apologized, man, for forging our names on a hotel room to hide the fact that you were cheating on your wife. Hey, Not to man. mention, that's her friend. Hey, man, that's dirty. I got to get back to work. Bye. I don't know why you came over here in the first place without my money. I gotta get back you know to what? work. It's okay, it's okay. You know, just let him go. Just let him go. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's get back to our positive vibe, all right? Let's get back to our positive vibe, okay? I got just a song. Put your headset on. Ugh, he just works my nerves. Why are you friends with him again? Oh, come on. Forget about him. Let's listen to the song. Now, come on now. <laughs> Let's get back to our mood, you know? Happy, positive, about to hit the trip, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, I love this song. Ooh, don't be afraid to love your queen Let's show the world what love really means I can't let the weary man hold me down I am a soldier who refuses to drown Can you hear? Can you hear me calling to you, my friend? Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Simply Straight Talk Show are you ready for the best talk show on this side of the world? Well, 
Let's get started with the Real Conversation Starter, your host, Reggie Maddox. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Straight Talk Show in the year, almost the guy of the year, man, in the year 2020. So I hope everybody is doing the right thing, man, that y'all are thinking positive. You're going into the new year with a positive mindset, and you don't just take the attitude and positivity that you brought from the new year, but you carry that every day. Make every day is like it's something new for you. Now, today, since we are talking about the new year, we want to start talking about doing some new things. And one thing we want to talk about today is the reason you need to travel. You need to travel, man. And I'm telling you right now that a lot of people really don't travel. And I'm saying this, now I know some people might think it's crazy that, you know, like, you know, that people don't travel. But trust me, I know people that have lived in the same city for years and have not left, barely left the state. They might went like two or three cities over. They have not left the state. You got to travel, man. Travel is so important and you don't understand the benefits that you can get from traveling. Now, I understand some places that you might want to travel to might break the bank. Some places are expensive. But today, there are ways that you can still travel and you're not spending a ton of money. A lot of people think that because they want to travel, that it's going to take, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars to have a good time. And that's really not true. Traveling is all about planning, planning when you want to travel, where you want to go and just making the right plans. But more than that, which that's a part of it, but we want to talk about the reasons you need to travel, the reason you need to make up in your mind right now that you are going to travel, that you're going to get out of that comfort zone and start doing something more, you know, saying putting yourself out there. And so if we want to talk today about traveling, I'm going to first tell you some reasons you should travel. Then I'm going to give you some recommendations from the places that I have been. And that really were enlightening to me. Now, first thing I suggest that people travel. The first reason I think you should travel is this. It challenge yourself because it does challenge you. When you travel, it is a great way to step out of your comfort zone. Because some people are so comfortable in their own neighborhood, in their own community, that when they step out of that box, it's like they have an anxiety attack. They don't know what to do. Or they start, you know, having false perceptions. You need to travel so you can have a better understanding and just really make yourself more comfortable in other environments. Because if you really want to be successful in life, you have to be able to integrate and actually be able to, you know, have references that deal with other places outside of your own community or even people that look exactly like you or think like you. You have to be able to really just step out, get out of that box of feeling like you can only be in one place. You can only be in one community. So traveling helps you to do that. And it it makes you be more engaging with other people. And that is a key thing, man. You need to learn to be able to interact with different people. You need to be able to feel comfortable. You know, it's like somebody who says, I only eat at one restaurant. Or I don't like this food and they never tried it. Like some say, well, I don't need sushi. You know, they think all sushi is raw. It's not. You got to step out and try different things. Now, you got to challenge yourself to break the stereotypes because many people have a false perception of other countries. You know, some people think when you like just take Africa, a lot of people think that Africa is just this third world poverty company uh, country where everybody lives in mud houses. There are some of the most beautiful buildings, architectural work in Africa. There is great food in Africa. You know, I think people watch what TV shows them. And normally when it comes to Africa, TV only shows you the poverty stuff of people living, you know, out of huts. They're in like this desert area. They never show you the truth of how Africa is probably one of the most growing places that you could ever want to see. A lot of historical stuff. Think about it. Do you know Tony Braxton recently did a concert in Africa? A lot of big American stars perform in Africa. 
So, and they're not performing in the desert. They're performing in live concert venues. So you got to break your mind and stop thinking what the media shows you. Get out and see these places for yourself so you can understand and get a different idea and see the truth of how these other places are. Some people haven't even traveled to another state because they got their own perception of what that state is like. You know, also you can challenge yourself because you can make new friends in other countries. And many people don't realize that, you know, have that impact and that experience to be able to associate and communicate with people of different cultures. It's it's, it's a life changing thing, man. Next, I want to talk about this. And when I talk about traveling and a lot of people, people travel for different reasons. People travel to relax, they travel to have fun, they travel for adventure, but traveling can be a very good learning experience. And one of the things that you can really have a lot of fun with is just really learning the unique traditions in each culture, because you'll be surprised at some of the things that other cultures do, their beliefs. Now, when I say that when you're learning about some of their traditions and their beliefs, it doesn't mean that you have to go over there and convert yourself. But when you're sitting on the job or you're sitting around other people and they're talking about, you know, maybe Mexico or they may be talking about China or they may be talking about, you know, Kuwait or Bali. You know, when you hear people talking about these places, you know, and they're talking about their culture, it's one thing to sit there and listen to somebody tell you about a culture. But to actually experience and see what that culture is and you'll be surprised how inaccurate so many people are when they try to tell you about somebody else's culture because it's something that they may be seen on tv or a movie that they assume is, is is factual and is not so having that knowledge you know it, it makes you not ignorant to what's going on in the world but also it gives you a better understanding of other people why some people celebrate uh you know christmas the day before or New Year's, the day after, why people do different things, why people gather on different times. You know what I'm saying? Why some people may become silent during certain times of the year because of their religious beliefs. You know, so you need to understand, you know, in some cultures, women don't make eye contact with men. But in America, it might be assumed as disrespectful, but in their country, it's disrespectful to try to make eye contact with them. So understanding other people's culture is a big way of being able to understand other people. So I think that's very important. And here's something I really love, and you can probably tell by my stomach, but experiencing the traditional foods. You gotta take time, man. I'm telling you, you know, you can eat food here in America that's from like Chinese restaurants or Thai restaurants or Mexican restaurants, but it's nothing like eating the food in that country. You have to taste it because the spices they use are absolutely amazing. And you'll be surprised that all the stuff that we put on tacos, all the stuff we put on burritos, they don't. The way they cook their steaks. I had a Japanese steak, man. I'm telling you, that was probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. But that's the thing that, that that is the thing about experiencing other cultures, experiencing the food, you know, because you're able to say like, you know, for me, when eating uh, Mexican food in Mexico and eating in Mexican restaurants here, I can tell you right now, it's night and day. It may say authentic, but it's not authentic. And you find that some uh, Japanese and Chinese restaurants actually have two menus, one for the American people. And another menu that is traditional for their people because we may not eat everything because we don't try it. And one of the biggest things, man, is discovering the missing facts about history. Now, y'all all know my pet peeve on how American history is taught here in the United States. But you'll be surprised when you go to other countries, like when you hear about World War I or World War II, you know, You hear about Midway, you know, you hear about all these military people. But one thing you don't hear about is the black troops. But when you go to France and they tell you about the Harlem Hellfighters, then you realize there was a whole side to this war that American history is leaving out. 
So other countries have a side of history that's not being told here that we need to embrace. And that's not just American history. The things you can learn about the Axe Test, you know, there's so much to learn about history, but you can learn so much more in other countries. Now, here's the reason I think a lot of people like to go on vacation. And this is the reason I think everybody needs to travel. Relaxing and rejuvenation. Let me tell you something. A change of environments can give you the help to you need to relax your mind because you'll be surprised when you're in the work environment, you're in the home environment, you're dealing with bills, you're dealing with stress, you're dealing with nasty co-workers, fake people, fake co-workers, fake friends. But just getting away and going to a place where you're away from all of that can make such a difference. You'll find that people, even if they take a week in getaway from home, from their city where they live can be so different. It can make such a difference in your life. You know, relaxing and rejuvenating also helps you relieve that stress. It reduces stress in your life. I believe when I go on vacation, I don't like to make plans. That's my thing. Now, some people like to plan out their whole vacation. From the time they get there, they got all these tours planned. Not me. When I go on vacation, it's spur of the moment. Because I don't want any obligations. If I want to sit in the hotel room and sleep, I sleep. If I want to sit in the uh, on the beach, I just sit on the beach. You know, enjoy it. And that's the part of just being on a vacation, man. That's the part of taking a trip somewhere else. You can decide if you want to take in the sights or if you just want to relax and just let your body unwind. Because your body needs to get that relaxing, too. So you have to learn to let your mind just sort of unwind and just forget about everything going on, the craziness. Your body needs that time to relax and unwind. And I think a lot of people fail to actually capture that. Next, I think this is big, relationships. Relationships can be so much better when people just actually make time to take trips, go somewhere, go to the Bahamas, go to London, you know what I'm saying? Go to the Netherlands, go to Paris, go to Mexico, you know, but if you can't, I understand that sometimes you don't have the money, but what if you just take a weekend getaway and just go stay and just drive three to four hours to another state? You know what I'm saying? Drive, go to another state, get you a hotel room and just get you something where you can go out to eat. You can go sightsee, you can go to the parks. And a lot of people just don't seem to realize that that can change a relationship. Get your relationship out of the stalemate that is in by staying enclosed in one area and expand your relationship. When you create more memories, you're creating building blocks and a stronger foundation. When you say, oh, yeah, you know, me and my baby, we went to the aquarium in Tennessee. You know, we went to the NASCAR. We may not like NASCAR, but at least we went and saw it. You know, you do different things. Go see places. Build that foundation. You know what I'm saying? Now, it can also rekindle the flame. It can relieve tension. Sometimes a family, everybody just worked to death. You're tired. This includes couples too. You've been dealing with work. You've been dealing with bills. Taking that little getaway can just help you just, you know, relieve that tension because you're not focusing on that. You just want to relax. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is when you go to travel, man, taking a trip, the reason you need to travel is really the sights. I'm telling you, one of the best things I learned about traveling is just being able to see the different things in different places. Now, I know that some people, when they travel, they like the red light district. Right, that's your thing. Hit it up. You know what I'm saying? But don't miss out on seeing the sights of what's going on in these different countries, in these different states. Because oftentimes people travel and you'd be surprised they'll spend a week in, say, North Carolina, but don't see any of the sites in North Carolina. And it's, it's it, I would feel bad to look on TV and just to know that I was in, let's say, uh, California for two weeks and I never once went to visit this place or see this place. You know what I'm saying? You see this stuff on TV, but you never went to try it. If you ever watch those shows, Dives, Dines and Diners or Andrew Zimmerman, that people tell you about these nice restaurants in these different places. Why not try them? If you're going to these states, go try these places. 
have the dream and the, you know, the joy of being able to say, I've been there. I tried that. It was good. No, it wasn't good. You know, those things create more. And also they, they, they fill you up. They give you a sense of purpose and enjoyment in life. So with that being said, man, you got to travel more. You got to travel more because it really does make a difference. Now, we're going to take a little quick break. And when we come right back, I'm going to tell you about some places I've been that I recommend for you. Because I'm going to tell you something. You got to travel, man. You got to travel. And I'm going to tell you some of the inexpensive things that I do that I travel so you can enjoy and have maybe it'll help you out. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we'll be right back. We'll be back with your host, Reggie, on Simply Straight Talk. Hello, Simply Straight Talk family. If you are enjoying this episode, at the end of the show, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. And why not share this with a friend? Also, visit our blog at newlifenewmind.com, where you can find additional articles on more great topics. Stay tuned. The show will continue right after this message. This is Simply Straight Talk with your host, Reggie, bringing the conversation straight to you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the second part of the show. And today we are talking about reasons you need to travel. Man, let me tell you something. You have got to travel. You have to travel. Don't be stuck in a box, man. Don't be stuck in this one mindset of how you think another place is. Find out for yourself. Don't let other people tell you about their memories. You tell them about your memories, places you've been, things you've done, restaurants you tried, sites you've seen. I mean, just imagine a walking into the 16th temple. Just imagine a walking in one of the pyramids of Egypt, being able to lay eyes on them and really see the mass of them and really feel how it feels to be there in that atmosphere. I mean, just to think you are looking at a mask that someone wore a thousand years ago. You know what I'm saying? You need to experience this stuff. I'm telling you, seeing it in person is not like looking at it in a book or a magazine. You need to experience. Then you watch Black Panther, huh? Then you see how Killmonger was looking at them masks. You're like, I'm feeling this. You know what I'm saying? You need to be like that. Feeling it. But listen, I have been blessed to be able to travel in my life. And I'm going to tell you about some of the places that I've been to that I recommend for you. Okay. Number one, not number one, but you know, just to start off the list, Singapore. Let me tell you something. Very friendly people. There was actually this temple um, that was there. And I was like, Hmm, kind of looking at it. But one of the guys from the priest of the temple was like, would you like to come in? And I'm like, uh, I don't want to offend nobody. He was like, no, come on in. And it was so beautiful inside of there. I mean, the walls, one of the walls was just made of gold plates with writing. I mean, it was so amazing. But what was really great was just the warmth and the welcoming. I mean, for me to ask questions and not be treated like I was stupid, it was just such a wonderful feeling to be able to actually see an authentic temple and not to mention the great food. Because when I was there, you know, they recommended this little side street um, outside restaurant and I had stingray, a stingray wing and a red snapper. Now, I know somebody are probably thinking stingray. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That stingray, okay, that stingray, with whatever that little little chili sauce they had, oh my God, let me tell you something, my mouth was just watering, it was so good. But Singapore is a very beautiful place, great architecture, friendly people, and there are so many sights to see there. So Singapore is a place you definitely need to go to. The next place is Thailand. Now, a lot of people have heard about Thailand because of the red light district. 
I mean, Thailand is a place. I'm not going to advertise that part of it right now, but I, I've been to Thailand, so I know, I know. But there are some things in Thailand you can do that you can't do nowhere else. But here's the thing. Don't get caught up in the red light area of Thailand, okay? And you already know they call it boom boom over there. That's what some people go for. But Thailand has some of the most beautiful landscape mountains. The people are extremely friendly. And also there is great food. If you never tried tiger shrimp, you need to try the you need to try the tiger shrimp. But friendly people, man. I mean, and Thailand is just amazing. And if you're the type of person that like to party, Listen, they party at 3, 4 in the morning. I mean, just bar after bar after bar of party, if you like that. But it's a beautiful place, man. Thailand has some remarkable, remarkable sites that you would definitely want to see. Great beaches that you would absolutely love. You know what I'm saying? So you really got to try Thailand, man. You got to go there. Like I said, take time to take to see the sites. You know, you got Bangkok, you got Phuket. You know what I'm saying? Some people go to Pattaya, but you need to experience Thailand. It is a beautiful place. You will just relax. And it is not expensive at all once you get over there. You'll be really surprised. The next place I went to that I really liked that kind of shot me, to be honest, was Russia. I went to Vladivostok, Russia. Now, they got some very unique food. I did like the food. So it was really good. The people were actually really friendly. There was this one group that invited me to their house and it's like the restaurant owner. So that was really nice. But Russia has some great historical statues. They got some great historical buildings and it really was a wonderful place. And some of the old forts like Fort Number 7, I mean, it was really great to see these places. Another places I saw uh, was Hawaii. I love Hawaii. Now, Hawaii is expensive. This is my personal opinion. Wonderful beaches, very friendly places. I mean, and to experience a luau right there in Hawaii, an authentic a luau, oh my God, you're you going to love it. But it was a little bit expensive, so you might want to save a little bit more money when going to Hawaii, actually staying there. Whereas with Thailand, you know, it may cost a little more to get there, but it doesn't cost more. Once you get there, it's very cheap. Another place that I really love, Hong Kong. Hong Kong was so much fun. Great food. The technology. I mean, because when I was in Hong Kong, they had things out in video games were at a level that was far beyond the U.S. The U.S. was just, the U.S. wasn't even close to catching up with them. You know, unfortunately, I couldn't bring that technology back because they wouldn't let you. But a great authentic food, great technology, great sight, especially when you go on the hillsides, man. And they have some of the most amazing culture. So please be respectful. But listen, learn about their culture. It is unique and amazing of their mindsets of how and how they think, how they interact. Also, China sets. One of the biggest things we did in the military, everybody wanted to buy a China set. But let me tell you something, what you would pay seven to eight hundred dollars for, for two hundred dollars, you can get the most beautiful custom China set. Amazing, amazing China sets. And I'm talking about the full China set. All right. Another place, Australia. I love Australia. I love it. You know, because when I first got there, I never really understood the culture and the history of the Aborigines. You know, so that was an amazing fact to learn about Australia. It's not all good, but it was great to learn about that. Australia has some great beaches. And if you go to Sydney, you're going to love Sydney. You got to take a tour of Sydney, but also take the tour of the Great Ocean Road. It is an amazing tour of great landscape, just a beautiful drive over this naturally eroded hillside, man. You're going to love it. But Australia is a very friendly place, man. Very welcoming. And I think you're really going to love it. Um, another place, Bali, Indonesia. Now, I don't know. I don't hear a lot of people talk about Bali. But for me, the museums in Bali, the waterfalls, the beaches. Oh, my God. Bali is just amazing. It is absolutely amazing. And the history of this island is extraordinary. So, like I said, Bali may not be like 
a cheap place to go, but it is definitely worth the money. A great honeymoon location. I love Bali. You know what I'm saying? So those are some places that I have been to that I really enjoyed, that I really just felt like I would go back any day. Like if I could go back right now to any of those places, I would be there in a heartbeat. But I understand everybody can't always travel international. They can't always hop on a plane or a boat and go across the ocean. So I want to tell you today that sometimes you don't have to do all of that right now. Because oftentimes what I'll do when I want to take a trip or when I want to go somewhere, I join Choice Hotels. Now, Choice Hotels is not one of the elite hotels. Now, they do have some elite hotels now. But I joined the Choice Hotel package because I really like the fact of their uh, rewards programs. And basically, you know, you stay so many times, you get so many points, especially if you book through their website. Now, here's the thing about Choice Hotels. Their hotels are not the most expensive in comparison to places like the Hilton or places like uh, the W and all that type of stuff. But the thing I like about the Choice Hotels, they really do have some good hotels, especially if you're in like the uh, Comfort Suites. The mainstay I've stayed in is really nice. Um, the quality in the suites are always really nice. And they got a very good price. And the points, I've never had a problem using my points. On New Year's, Valentine's Day, I mean, Thanksgiving Day, if there is a holiday, you can use your points, which I love that aspect of not being restricted for using my points. So one time I wanted to see how much, how, how long could I stay with my points? I said, what about, well, I had like, I had like uh, 80,000 points. I said, okay, you know what? I had, that was enough for me to stay in the hotel for 10 days. Let me see if I can use all these points. And you know what? I was able to use those points to stay in a hotel for 10 days. That cost me absolutely zero. But they also have a program to where if you don't want to use all your points, like say a hotel may be 10,000 points a night. Okay. So you stay for 10,000 points a night, or you can stay for $15 or $30 or $45, depending on the hotel. And you may only pay 6,000 points or 8,000 points. So it really helps you to save when you're traveling. I mean, it's just a smart thing to do. There are so many times that I have traveled and just used my points and paid absolutely nothing for my hotel. So all my money was just on food or going to the movies or going to the park or just entertaining myself. I think it was a smart move. Hey, we're going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. And I'm going to tell you some more ways that you can travel on the inexpensive line. And not being cheap, just being realistic. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be right back. Free your mind, free your voice, right here on Simply Straight Talk. There are so many talented young men and women attending our HBCUs. Don't you think it's time we show them our support? This year, Reggie will be highlighting HBCU bands, dance teams, and sports programs. And we are inviting you to show your love as well by attending games in your area. When you buy tickets to attend these events, you are helping to support not only the programs, but the great minds of our future generation as well. to the Simply Straight Talk Show, bringing you the best conversation on your morning, afternoon, and primetime drive. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, and thank you for sticking with us today on the Simply Straight Talk Show. Man, today we're talking about the reasons you need to travel more. Listen, we you got some lot of good pointers on the reason you need to travel. Now, when it comes to traveling and not spending a lot of money, honest, you just got to do your research. Because depending on where you're going and the time of the year, 
it's going to be a little more pricier. If you want to go to the Bahamas during the summer, you're going to pay more. You know what I'm saying? It's like people going to the mountains during Christmas. Like, I love going to cabins, to the uh, cabins in the mountains. But I know during Christmas and Thanksgiving, it's going to cost more. So you just got to do your research and make sure that wherever place you decide to go, the earlier you book, the more likely you are to save money. Like I said, more likely. Some places will you be able to save money because they're hurting for customers, so they, they drop the prices. But you just really got to monitor and just do your research on find out what's the busy time of the year, what's the slow time of the year. The peak time of the travel for certain places is going to be more expensive. We already know that. So you just need to do your research. If you want to go to Bali, look at the peak seasons. The same thing for Thailand. If you're going to the Bahamas, if you want to take a cruise, look at the peak season to look at the off peak seasons to see if you can get a good deal. Sometimes some people use a travel agent who can sometimes get them a good deal. The basic thing is like whenever I travel, I always, always do my research. I always think about where I want to go. It might be two months down the line. It might be three months, four months, but I still make an effort to travel. I still find ways. And like I said, with the Choice Hotel, when I travel and I use them, every once in a while, I just stay in a hotel. Yeah, I might spend uh, $60 in this hotel, $70 in that hotel, but I have a goal that by the time I get to to say the end of the year, maybe I want to go stay in North Carolina for like a week. And I know how many points I accrue. So now for the money I spent, I'm getting a free travel. I'm getting a free hotel in this state, in this city. And I'm not having to pay for anything except for my entertainment. And I'm telling you, it's so good to go into a hotel and not have to pay a single dime for the room, get use of all the amenities. And the only thing I got to do is pay for whatever I want to eat. Now, I never eat breakfast in the hotel, but you can do that. I mean, that's just not me. I'm too lazy, too bougie in that aspect, to be honest. But never mind. Someone got some good food. But anyway, the point is, do your research. Think about where you want to go. And you got to remember something, that traveling doesn't always mean going international. Sometimes you can just drive four to six hours to another state. There are cities you can drive to because you got to remember, hotels are going to vary in cost depending on where you are. And for me, I found that I don't need to be in the heart of the city. I'm perfectly fine staying, you know, 20 minutes away. And I can save sometimes 40 to 60 bucks on a hotel room. But if you're the type of person that want to be smacked downtown, you want to drop $300, $400, hey, do you, boo-boo, do you. You know, it's like people who stay in D.C. If you go to D.C., the hotels are going to cost you. I mean, they're going to cost you. It's like staying in downtown Atlanta. You're going to get hit with the cost of hotel. Now, but if you stand in D.C., D.C. is like 20, 30 minutes away from most places in Maryland, like Rockville and all that type stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you stand in Atlanta, you know, if you want to stay downtown Atlanta, you can pay that big money. But then again, you can stay in Norcross. You can stay in Brookhaven. You can stay in North Druid Hills. See, there are places you can stay where you're not paying so much money and you're still getting great value. I never understand why people pay four to three hundred and four hundred dollars for a hotel room and you're rarely in the room. I mean, if you're not going to be in the room, why go all out like that? Now, I can understand it's a honeymoon. You're trying to get your little boom, boom on. That's another thing. But you need to travel, man. Traveling makes a difference. So make sure you travel. Make sure you get out there and learn and expose yourself to the different things in the world. Challenge yourself. All right. I'm going to do a longer one on more uh, inexpensive ways to travel because I didn't hit everything on this like I wanted to. But I'm out of time today. Thank you for joining me right here on the Simplest Trade Talk Show. And you know what? We'll be right back next Friday with another hot show, hot topic. Be here, baby. You've reached the end of another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. Connect with us at Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Don't forget to sign up to our newsletter and check out the New Life, New Mind blog at newlifenewmind.com. See you at the next episode.